um, quite an evening that was. I mean, could you believe how it unfolded? Um, not really, if I'm honest. I think it's probably two disappointing goals to concede in the first half. And then we've obviously come back, a little bit of a change of shape. Um, and then, yeah, we've come back into it and we've played reasonably well, I thought. Although they gifted us the goals, but still you'll take them because it seems that we haven't really had too many of them this season. It feels like we have to work pretty hard for our goals. But I um, know it was, in the end, a good result and twin on penalties. It gets the fans engaged and, um, yeah, sets up nicely now going forward into the Christmas period. We'll get to the penalties in a bit. Yeah. But, I mean, the, the change of shape, obviously, you were a big part of that because you've moved from full-back to wing-back. Yeah. Com- uh, position you're clearly comfortable in, though. Yeah, no, like I said, I'm happy anyway down that left-hand side and even further inside the pitch if I need to. It's somewhere I've played before, so it's not an issue. But I think the two strikers, they were pretty good on. They could tell they're experienced lads and they caused issues in the first half. So I think that extra centre-half was kind of just to add that little bit more protection. And obviously me and Rainsy are more uncomfortable playing further higher up the pitch. So yeah, it did the job. And like I said, we were just happy to get into the, into the next round. The equalising goal, which you were heavily involved yeah. in, took us through it. Um, well, if I'm honest, the gaffer was kind of shouting at me, I was saying, get higher, get higher, get higher. So I kind of gambled, really. I seen, as high as you could get. Yeah, so I seen them playing around with the ball and I thought, oh, I'm going to go for it. So then they gifted me the ball and then luckily Rex in a good spot for me to pick up my head and find him. It goes to penalties. You've had experience in there before. Were you, were you keen to step up this time? Yeah, no, like I said, I put my hand up and said, if you want me to take one, I'm more than happy to take one. I said, I'm confident in kind of my ability to take the penalty. And um, yeah, I think uh, left footers kind of do well in penalties normally, don't they? So yeah, no, I was more than confident. I always, in my head, knew I was going to go kind of straight down the middle. So I just kind of stuck with it. And hopefully um, he'd dive like he did. And yeah, I could just glad to put it away. It must be a strange for you because you're, the way Bromley were taking them, you probably thought, oh, I've just got to take mine to stay in it. And then suddenly, in the space of a few seconds, you think, oh goodness, I've got to score this to win. I mean, what's going yeah. through your head? Yeah, no, definitely. Like I said, the, the first few were incredible, weren't they? They didn't look didn't like they were going to miss, but then... I think when um, they missed their final one, you think you kind of get in your head, uh, oh, it's my chance to kind of be a little bit of a hero. So like I said, it was only positive thoughts, really. I wasn't, wouldn't say I was too nervous, nothing. I was only just, this is kind of my chance going to win the game for the lads. Yeah, people say that like, about the nerves. I know it's been an experience 48 hours ago, a slightly bigger occasion in the World Cup. Mm. It's still pretty nerve-wracking like that, when you fought your way back into the game as well. Yeah, no, definitely. I don't think I was ever going to panenka it down the middle. I don't think I quite got <laughs> the stones for that, but... Um, no, like I said, I was confident I was going to score and blank, uh, thankfully dived the other way and I just put it straight down the middle. Uh, in general, we last spoke to you after the Chelmsford game and you came back into the team. You've had a good run in the side yeah. now. If you man of the match, you got man of the match tonight as well. So it's going really well for you and you feel like you've hit your stride. Yeah, no, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling strong at the moment. Like I said, I have struggled probably the past few seasons with injuries here and there. I've had a hamstring issue this year, but so far I feel good. I feel strong and without starting too cocky, but I don't feel like I'm going to have a bad game at the moment, which is obviously a nice place to be in coming up to the, uh, the big Chipman games. Yeah, you unfortunately missed them last year, so you must, can't wait to put that right. Yeah, definitely. I was in the, in the stand uh, watching it, which is, like I said, it was rubbish for us to play. You want to be out there all the time. And um, yeah, hopefully we can uh, put in some good performances and get some good results. What are your plans over Christmas, next few days? Um, nothing. Like I said, as a football player, kind of... Like I said, not a lot you can do really, just chilling out with family um, and yeah, maybe squeezing the odd beer here and there, but obviously sensibly. Um, but yeah, just like I said, spending time with family and friends really. Well, I hope you enjoy it. Have a Merry Christmas and well done for scoring the winner from the spot. Cheers guys, thank you. Bye.